So I'm returning the Escalade right now. The coolest lights on the planet. That's a light bar. That's a light bar. Is the actual headlights. You got five of them. You got an uh, amber light. The light bar continues to the bottom, and then that on the bottom is a turn signal. These birds sound like they're gonna kill me. He's great. I don't want to get taken out by a bird. So, got the cool. Everything's cool about this car. Like, I really, 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 really like it. No wonder they're so damn expensive. Um, so you got that. Cool lights. Just gonna keep that on. Check out the back real quick. This is classy. Everything's nice. Some people don't like the lights, but I think they're crazy. It's something unique in, in this segment. So if you notice, the door doesn't open up all the way. There's a switch in there. You can go full three quarters or off. And the three quarters keeps it low for the shorter people so that way they can reach the button here. So I would totally hit my like nose right here. That's how, and I'm 6'1". I'm not super tall. Um, so these are cool. You got the buttons here for the seats. So, so that's kind of cool. I love the sounds. Alright, then we got the big old cubby here. Then we have stuff you can tie things to. So. What the? Oh, that's probably for the center. I'm not sure. So I have a handle here you can pull down. I, I just push a button here. It goes down automatically. So that's cool. Um, everything's nice. Everything's just luxurious. Everything's comfortable. Except for the headrests. The headrests are super freaking hard. It feels like you're put your head on a brick. So you got cup holders here, you got a little cubby there, you got outlets on the bottom, you got AC right there. And then the Alcantara, or suede or whatever it is, so that's pretty nice. It's nice touch. Alright. Okay, I gotta get rolling. I'm always running late. Always running late. So, you got the backup cameras here, which are pretty cool. If you notice, the 360 degree camera, um, it's pretty phenomenal. But the funny thing is, is, it must work off sensors. Me and my buddy were spending like way too long trying to figure this thing out. All right, so, so see the trash cans to the left of me? And you got trash cans right there. Yeah, there's a chair with water. So it actually lets you see stuff, and it's in color. And again, we're under a carport. So it has to work off the sensors, because if you open the door... If you open the door, it blacks off that whole section. So it's like you're blocking a sensor, but then if you shut the door, it opens it back up. And then you have the regular backup camera. And then they also have sensors over here. But then, I mean, I don't know. I, 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 I like that stuff. I think it's super cool. But I just like to use the mirrors. That stuff, like, if... Let's say I'm... Let's say this car right here. Let's say I'm parked next to it. So if I'm backing out of this spot and there's not a lot of room. And I gotta start cranking it. That's where this thing will come in very handy. See how close. And it lets you know exactly where your front end is, even though you might not know exactly where it is. So that's, in my opinion, where it'd be super beneficial. Um, just tight, tight spaces like that. And especially if you get in the big cities where people have enough money for these. You know, you get downtown LA and stuff like that. I wish they had something for the roof because this thing is super tall. I was sitting like eye to eye with a Hummer the other day. And um, they should have a camera for the clearance of the roof because I feel like it's high enough 
that it can get you into trouble sometimes. And this, of course, is stock. It's brand new. It has, what, 3,400 miles on it. Let me grab the gate real quick. Oh, yeah. So I'm not typically a chrome rim fan, but on this I like it because it goes with the different features of the, I don't know what it's called, brushed aluminum. And the color is very dark blue. I don't know, I think it's a super cool car. So I filled up the tank one time cost me $60 which my Corvette cost 40 so it's a bigger tank and uh, the gas was $2.57 so that's like super cheap gas around here but um oh it's trash day oh well Escalade's more important than trash so, yeah, it's 60 bucks, $2.57 a gallon, so it's cheaper gas than I usually get, and it's uh, way more expensive. So if I, eh, <laughs> I better not say that. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what, uh, I don't want to get in trouble, but, um, so yeah, there's big old cubbies everywhere. You know, you got places for the key, the wallet, the Tic Tacs. Then you got the good cup holders. Again, you got the little hidden compartment. With the little uh, connection inside. At night, it's really cool. There's lighting all the way over here. So there's like this ambient, you know, very soft kind of lighting. So... I was telling my buddy, I was like, you know how like 10 years ago, like it was just completely dark in cars at night and on the inside. <laughs> You're like, I need a pencil. And then you just start like feeling around for a pencil. <laughs> so we've come a long way. So it does okay with the pickup and go. It's not fat. I would not call this fast. And then if you brake hard, you feel the weight of this vehicle. This thing has a way like I don't know how much it weighs. I'd probably guess over 5,000 pounds. But um, you feel the weight of it. I mean, it, it stops and everything, but it, <laughs> you could tell, you could feel, you know, you just feel bad for the brakes, you know. And the steering wheel is really cool. The buttons here, they light up at night. And I think that's a very classy, um, very little uh, hard plastics. And then you can, is that button there? You do the mirrors, so that's kind of cool. You can fold them over. Um, I give up on Android Auto. I tried it again. I tried it on my last time that I had the, the vehicle, and I, I got just got frustrated and stopped. And so this time I I went with a fresh spirit. So, okay, we're gonna do this, and I yeah, it didn't work out. Um. Uh, this is a first time that a vehicle I've had where the everybody has they call it what do they call it um, they don't call it cooled seating they call it ventilated seating because <laughs> it doesn't really it's not really cold this one is cold like I feel it right now I just push a button I feel it and it's it's cold it's like almost like icy hot you're like ooh uh, <laughs> you know so and then the charger is. I guess you need a, a cover for it and then people have told me that even if there's a cover for it It's a very slow charge But I hate the positioning of it Because I would like to just be able to have my arm here with that. I know I know I get it <laughs> I'm complaining about little tiny things, but you know what? It's a great car. So you have to complain about little tiny things um, My mom she's a uh, a little bit older and has a, you know, a little bit of a mobility issue and she can get up in this thing no problem. So that's really good. Um, it's easier for her to get up into this than down into the Corvette. So this is a kind of cool. So you got your sunglasses there, which everybody always has. But then if you click it, 
there's a little mirror that I can look into the back and see all see all my kids fighting and stuff so I can spy on the people on the inside or you could never mind I guess I won't talk about what my buddy uh, did back there so anyway everything's super nice super luxurious I love the steering wheel I love the feel of it you know but it's not like super soft you know the Cadillac ride that people envision I don't feel is there um, and again in my opinion Cadillac was going after the younger crowd so like a lot of the Cadillac you know that CTSV now with a supercharged 640 horsepower and you know they have all this different stuff that they're kind of uh, gearing toward the younger market which I get but if you if you're in a Cadillac, you know, I don't, uh, other than the CTSV, if you're in a Escalade or a XTS or something, you just want to like be comfortable. You know, they have like sport mode, and you know, I was like, no, you don't need to do all the modes with the Cadillac, man. Just just enjoy, it, you know. So like, you know, the suspension is probably a little bit firmer than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it'd be a not floaty, but I thought it, you know, it absorbed the bumps better than it does. Um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure I'm crazy, but it doesn't do a heck of a lot better over the bumps than the Corvette does, you know, on the soft setting, so, but anyway, um, just typical controls, the, this is something I really hate, this stick, you know, it's a generic garbage GM from the 90s, I think we had a 1992 Firebird, and I swear it had the same freaking stick, basically. And it, the thing that sucks, it doesn't light up. So at night, even though there's lights illuminating around, you still can't really see the stick. So you have to be familiar with the car. And of course, that will happen after time. But I, I only had it for the weekend, so I wasn't sure what you know. Because there's a button, and then this thing twists, and then there's a, a switch, and then the whole thing moves up and down. So you have to sit there and try to figure it out, you know, which I, I don't like that. And then this is, I guess, just for towing. There's a button on the end here. Let you know that there's a trailer. Let's see that trailer light just came on. It's a picture of a trailer. And then I can go up and down gearing to help me with the braking for the trailer, so that way I can use the engine braking instead of just a regular brakes and it'll it'll kind of hold my speed a little bit better so that's kind of cool you know i don't tow stuff myself but for people i do i i used to drive trucks so that's a great feature you know because some of those grades will sneak up on you but anyway it's a nice place to be the seats are super comfortable um this is a base model uh escalade so i think some of the better models have massage in it this one does not. Um, big old cubby in the middle. The light at the bottom. And then there's all kinds of plugs and stuff in there. Um, the glove box. There's no switch there. It says right here. Glove box. And then it opens. And That's not a huge glove box for an Escalade style car. But... And then the Alcantara and the, the cheap looking wood continue through. I'm, I'm just not a fan of the wood. Okay, let me move this so you can kind of... And this I feel personal opinion this wood doesn't really match that wood. That wood looks lighter to me and this one has a, the, the distinguished lines. Okay, I and it, I, I just feel like it doesn't match whatsoever, so. But anyway, it's, not, like, it's a gorgeous car, you know. It's a nice place to be, nice place to, very comfortable. I can definitely, like, escape the trap. And it's very quiet in here. Um, the other day there was, uh, I just rolled down the window and there was somebody, like, playing their music loud. And before I rolled down the window, I didn't even notice that, uh, the music was there, so like it's, and in Southern California, you know, everybody wants everybody else to know what they're listening to, which I'm not sure what.